Good morning, everyone. It is 10.38. We're off. We have to stop. Um, and we're doing a couple of things. So we're just going to keep the app open. There's nothing really coming up at the moment. So we're just going to play by ear. I took a shower, but I don't feel like it. It is humid today. How are you feeling today? Hot. Hot. We're hot bothered. Look at me. I just showered. My hair's curling. Oh, there we go. I do have a trim. No. I do have a trim next week because, like I said, she's going on maternity leave until October. So I just wanted just to shape up just this bit a little bit. It won't look much different to you guys. You probably won't even tell I've gone. I just need it thinned a bit. Anyway, we will definitely talk to you guys along the way and we'll see what happens today. Okay, guys, we're home. It's 1.30. There's really nothing out there, so... We, I just cleaned the living room. I decided to put my... I was thinking this morning it was driving me mad because the living room is so dusty and that. And I changed the sheet over there. So I've just cleaned the living room while she's showering because she's going to go to Queens later anyway. So I'm just going to chill out for the day and then we'll put a, a full day in tomorrow and see what we can get. But I also need a mental health day. I'm like, my mind... I didn't sleep well last night after our conversation. Things are going over in my mind, things that Pete, Ash and I discussed, and it's just a lot. So I'm going to watch Big Brother. I haven't watched the second episode. I only watched the day it started. What's today? Tuesday. It's on again tomorrow. So I haven't even seen them really enjoy each other yet. So I'm going to watch that and then think about eating because I've barely eaten in two days, which is not good either. But yeah, hope you're all having a wonderful Tuesday. We'll definitely check in in a little bit, guys. She's gone. She's been gone. It's five o'clock. I'm bored out of my tree. I want to go to lay down for a bit because I'm so excited. Uh, so excited. I'm not excited. I'm tired. I haven't really slept well the past few days. And like I said uh, last night, you know, we had a long talk with Pete and stuff. And it's emotional. It's, you know, it's still quite fresh and everything. But she's gone to see John tonight, which is fair enough. Luna's gone to lay down. It's It's been really wicked hot today. They, We actually got, um, hopefully that fan's not affecting this. We actually got a heat warning effect from the electric company. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're going to get going. We are going to go to work, but Ash wants to run to the outlets real quick and have a quick look. Um so we're going to do that in the morning and um, you know still get to some work because we've got the whole week but um she's been wanting to do this for a while so i said yeah i'll come with you there's nothing i want or need or can afford but it'll be nice to have a little walk around and then obviously we'll do jobs on the way back apart from that there's not really been a lot going on guys i feel bad because this is going to Sound like someone was on the doorstep. Can't get up right now to have a look. I am. I am waiting for my. I had to. Oh wait, it says delivered. Hold on. Oh, I think this might be the book. So one of my tastefully simple customers asked me if I could send. Oh, excuse me. A friend of hers a tastefully simple catalog, and I'm like, yeah, no problem. Then I realised I didn't have any left because I'd given them all out. And I hadn't ordered more because of the fact that um, in August, we're gonna find out the fall winter line. So then I'll be getting the fall winter catalogs instead. But she wanted one. I said, oh, I know what I can do. I can order one and have it sent right from the company, which you normally can, except the ones they're doing right now are the fall winter ones. They're not doing the spring summer anymore, so. I had to buy a pack of 10 so I could send her one. So I will make sure I put that in an envelope later and send it out. Because my friend will be in touch soon saying, did you do it yet? Because I said I was just gonna drop it off at her house. She's like, no, don't do that. Just mail it to her. So I'm like, all right. Um, I've had somebody bidding on one of my handbags on Poshmark. Now that's great, but I put the bag down $100. It's quite newish. And the person is really, really lowballing me. And it's irritating because when you respond, you can either counter offer or 
um, accept the offer or decline the offer. It was so far away than what the bag is listed for. I've just been declining because it's a joke and it's kind of insulting because it's really, really low. And um, so I, I declined and then they came back and went up $10 and I declined again because it's still really far away from what I have it listed as. And then they upped it $5 in the middle of the night last night. And I'm like, I can't comment to say, listen, look at what I've written about the bag. Look at the details. Look at the state of the bag. And then if you want, give me a serious offer. But they're not. They just keep giving me these really crazy low balls. And I'm like, I've already put the bag down quite a bit in price and what I wanted to get for it. So... I'm not going as low. I would have gone a little bit lower, but not, not as low as they're trying to. You can't even buy a pleather bag for that, what they were offering. It's like, are you just having a laugh and just trying to, like, see what you can get out of people? Or are you serious? I don't feel like it's serious. Anyway, that's that. But I'm going to love and leave you for a bit. Hopefully, I'm probably just going to have a sandwich for dinner because Ash and I had chicken and chips at lunchtime. Um... So I've, I had my bigger meal earlier. So I think I'm just going to make a sandwich of some kind. I got some really nice beefsteak tomatoes yesterday. And I just kind of want a tomato sandwich. Is that weird? Just to want a tomato sandwich. I do have cheese. Maybe I'll just do cheese and tomato and a nice cup of tea. Guys, I don't know the last time I had a cup of tea. What, what kind of Brit am I? Um... What? When was the last time I had a cup of tea? It's got to be in about three, maybe four weeks. It's not good. So anyway, that's what I'll probably end up doing for dinner. Cheese, tomato, and a cup of tea. Uh, I'll let you know, though, if that goes on. Anyway, I'm just watching a bit of Love Island. Anybody watching British Love Island? It's so good. The sirens galore going off. Um, I don't know. There was... Uh loads of sirens and i'm assuming that they are going to um this fire i got a message on my ring we get you know messages of things that are going on in the neighborhood and not too far down by where costco is more to the right one of those streets where a lot of our students families live he said there was a big fire, but even I'm going to show you outside. It's so grey and nasty now. It's back. He just ran over and then stopped in his tracks. I don't know where the other one is. Usually there's two of them together. Where are you going? Oh, he's off. under the deck. It goes under the deck sometimes. Anyway, it is breezy. Luna, it's breezy. Feels a bit better, doesn't it? <laughs> Didn't realise how zoomed in I was. wind keeps blowing the seats. Luna Bella, can you hear me? Luna Bella, hello. Hi Luna. <laughs> She's so cute. This guy's so weird because, like I said, we keep getting messages saying there's a storm going to be coming through. But we'll see, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't, so will we get a storm is the question.
Right guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go make my sandwich for dinner. It's quarter past eight. I'm hungry now. It's dark and muggy. It's cooler outside than in, but I don't wanna sit outside. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all had a brilliant, brilliant Tuesday. Whatever it is you guys did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Take care guys and stay safe.